Hey cellos, we are playing the main melody of the Pink Panther for this lesson. And what I'm gonna do first is just play it through once. And then we're gonna go over some of the fingerings and make sure that you have those written down. Um, and then I'll show you exactly how to get to the places where we're gonna shift. And the shifting will make it sound really cool and super jazzy. So I'm gonna start with my, um, normally you play your D on the A string with your fourth finger. We're gonna put our first finger there and start with third finger. So this is just a playthrough. You can listen or play it through with me if you want and then we'll check it through. Ready, one, two, three, four, rest. <laughs> my bow down. First thing you need to know about, um, let's see if I can flip my phone here. I bet you I can't. Dang, noodles. Okay, let me grab, I guess I'll do it this way. Okay, not very well thought out of how I'm doing this. First thing we're going to do is we're starting this in third position. Okay, so like I said, you're going to put your first finger down on where your D is and then play third finger to make that E happen, okay? And then here's where I had that cool little jazzy shift. You shoot up to fourth position, so I labeled that with a fourth, a Roman numeral four, and I'm gonna just play two, one. Alrighty? So go in there, and then you shift back down to first position in this measure, okay? Everything in the next line here is all first position. And then right here, whoops, right here, I realize this is not the best cinematography, but that's okay, okay? Right here, when you come up to this note right here, that's an E, all right? So your E, you're gonna just look for that tape. It's normally your fourth position tape, but you don't go quite that far. You're gonna put your second finger on the E and then play one for the E flat, all right? So let's see how that looks when we're actually playing our cello. Hello. Okay. Okay, so starting again, one more time, we go, we put our, play your D on your A string. That's the second note of the song. Now put your first finger there. All right, and you're gonna play third finger. E is a really important note in this piece of music. It's actually written in E minor. So that's the main note for the key signature, okay? Um, so you're gonna do E, D, shift back for your B, A, G. Okay, let's do that measure again. Okay, set yourself back up, first finger on the D note, and play three. Now let's do the dotted rhythm. Okay, good, so after you're done with this, now shoot directly up to fourth position. Here you're gonna feel your hand hit the shoulder of your instrument and your first finger is gonna be on that tape where normally we play like an E on the A string. Okay, we're just gonna do that on the D string. Sounds like twinkle twinkle. That's how you know when you're, fourth, you're in fourth position. So your first finger goes there and you play two for the B flat. Okay, so you can know this is an A. That's really handy to know. So if you ever, in another piece of music, come along to an A that's a whole note, you can sit there, and now you could do vibrato on that long A instead of just playing your, your open A. Okay, but I digress. So measure two, shoot up to fourth position and play two, one. Okay, let's try that together. Ready, play. 
nice job. Now for measure three, you're gonna shift back to your first position, regular old normal, and go. It's so four, one, oh, one, and then you slide into it. And you just go like almost all the way back to the nut and slide right into your E. Okay, so ready? Here we go. We're going to try this whole first line. One, two, three. Oh, I wonder, if, is this even recording? Oh, yeah, we're good. Okay, <laughs> just did a check. One, two, three, four, one. Shift. Shift. Slide. There. Cool. Okay, nice work. Okay, so now in the pickup to B, this is D sharp. Okay, so you've got to make sure you don't want to play an open D when you have a D sharp. It, the sharp means it's a half step higher than D. So you play, I usually shift there from D sharp and go straight to my, I'm going to see if I can catch my finger tapes in the light, not really. D sharp, E, okay? And then you're going to have F sharp, G. And then D sharp, E again. Now this is a C natural, so you have to do two fingers. B, and then here's your B flat, which is in the same place as the... If there was an A sharp, it's the same note. Okay, so the biggest thing on that measure is the bowing. Down, all the middle notes are up bow. And then down. One, two, three. All right, there you go. Nice job. Then we have basically the same thing on the next line. D sharp, E. F sharp, G. D sharp B again. Two one. Now you go from G B. This should. Oops. Did you? That was not. Mm, mm, okay. You shift up to your E with your second finger. So remember how you came up here with your first finger. You're gonna go not quite that far. Two. Okay. And you do so. Okay. So. Let's practice that shift. Try it again. Ready? Go. Good. We're going to pause right there.